Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcad. So today I wanted to talk about the stock wizard and setting your origin. Um, I'm going to import a, a step file. This was drawn in a, uh, another package. In this case, it was drawn in SolidWorks. But uh, when you're working with customer files or files from engineering, they can come from all kinds of different design programs. And when you import them, they don't always align with uh, the you know your origin or how you're going to machine the part and that's what we're seeing here uh, there's this dome shape that's on the top of this part here here let me just turn off my uh, axis display there's this dome shape that's on the top of the part that's what we want to machine but when we go to a top view you can see that the part is running in Y okay so there's really two methods that you have for handling this um, probably the easiest way to do it is just to rotate the part so it matches the world coordinate system. So this part is pointing up in Y. I want to rotate it 90 degrees in X and then it will be pointing up in Z. So we can go utilities, rotate X 90 from, we're going to hit enter, 0, 0, select all, spacebar, OK, cancel. All right, so now we have the part aligned with uh, the world coordinate system so when we go through our setup here we can choose cylindrical stock you can see that there's the stock orientation is aligned with the part and then we can choose next and this is where you set your uh, work offset or your origin so we can click on origin click on the top of the part and you can see we have X and Y um, really very simple to do we already did all the work once we rotated the part okay so now let's say that um, we don't want to rotate the part we want to machine the part as is when it comes in so really what we want to do is align our stock and then we want to align our origin so we'll run the stock wizard again We'll choose cylindrical stock. This time we're going to change the extrusion direction to the Y axis. So now you can see the stock is aligned to the part. Even though Z is facing the wrong way, uh, the stock is aligned to the part. And really the stock is used for simulation. Uh, advanced rough, it's a 3D boundary. But as long as it's covering the area that you want to machine or visualize machining or use as a boundary for the advanced rough, then uh, we're all good here. The next thing that we want to do is set our origin. Now when we click our origin, and you're going to notice that the origin mirrors the world coordinate system or the stock orientation okay so we need to align this and it's really very easy to do you have X Y and Z in which you can align with um, we're gonna go ahead and click on the Y axis direction and we're gonna click on this point right here and that will just rotate our coordinate system so that our origin is matching X Y and Z just like um, just like we would want it just how we want to machine it from from top going down so again very simple you can either you know uh, change your geometry by rotating it or you can align your origin uh, by using uh, the machine setup dialog boxes if there's any questions about this or comments please reply back to the thread or the Facebook or the YouTube otherwise we'll catch you on the next video thank you so much